In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the best pressure or blitzing concepts in Madden. Um, this is something that you can cross apply year over year. And what we're doing here on the channel is we've done a couple of videos that are designed to basically help you guys uh, come up with different strategies, different formulas, um, different blitzing concepts that you can then go and apply to any Madden that you ever will play, including um, Madden 24. Now, the beta is out currently. One of the things I really recommend uh, to people when they're playing the beta is to try to find as much pressure as they possibly can because you need to learn the most effective way to blitz in the game and there's really five key blitzing concepts that have stood the test of time over the last 10 to 15 years all of these blitzing concepts have at one time or another been very meta and we've uh our, we're on our fourth blitzing concept today and we're talking about um, contained stacking. Now, this is something that was really good um, about halfway through this year. And it was also something that was really, really, really good in Madden 20 um, when people would basically stack the contains out of the dime 146. Uh, earlier in Madden 23, uh, we were doing this out of the nickel 3-3 formation where you can stack the contains off both sides. If we have time, I'll also show you um, one way to do this out of dollar. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to call this play cover to sink. And I'm going to show you kind of the idea behind it. Now, this is not to say this is the best way to blitz in Madden 24. It might be. But there's about five key blitzing concepts. And every single year, I release an entire uh, blitzing ebook devoted to teaching you how to blitz systematically out of every formation in Madden. In Madden 22, we dropped one. In Madden 23, we dropped one. We're going to be dropping one day one of Madden 24. And the, what's cool about that blitzing ebook is it continues to get updated throughout the year as different patches come out or different things change. So if you want to get access to that, all you got to do is be a Patreon member and it'll get you access to all of the eBooks. The link's in the description to sign up, but let's get on the field here and talk through this cover two sync. So basically the idea with this defense is we're going to hit R1 uh, to QB contain. And then if this guy was out, out to like the numbers, we would want to move him in. Another thing we can do is we can also pinch our line to just get a little bit more of a stacking of these two players. And then what you should see here is we're going to get this kind of disengage or these uh, glitchy stacks uh, that can be really, really advantageous. Now, um, since Micah Parsons is doing his thing, I'll show you this other thing. So you can do this where you stack both of the contains. Um, this is also an option. And this is kind of what 146 was. And you see how we're getting disengages or loops. Um, I wouldn't call them necessarily loops. I'd call them just like disengages. Um, more than so than anything uh, but basically this is the idea and i'll show it to you out of um, a couple other formations as well but again you're seeing here that these you see how we're getting that b gap and we're getting that that little quick edge pressure so that's the idea let me sub micah parsons out real quick and i'll show you this one more time and then we'll talk about some other formations that you can do the same concept from the concept is the concept okay i've done a lot of videos uh, kind of trying to explain the concept is the concept no matter what so it's the stacking contain blitzing concept uh, can apply to multiple formations. And if you can understand why the concept works, basically it, Madden's just really not been, it's been really buggy with contains for years. And as you can see there, that's a little bit more um, of what would happen. Now, this has been patched. Um, this blitz has been patched multiple times this year, um, as well as the other ones we're gonna show you. So it's not super crazy good in Madden 23, but it was really, really good in uh, Madden 20. And I believe it was also uh, pretty good in Madden 21. Uh, it's just the only reason that we never saw it in Madden 21 was because there was a lot of weak boxing. Most people offensively were running some type of other formation that basically where they had two running backs uh, to be able to block. Uh, so let's show you how to do this out of another formation like dollar, for example. We're gonna utilize this play spinner. You know, we're gonna spread a line. Um, we're gonna press, we're gonna QB contain. And then we're just gonna walk this contain in and stack him off of this edge. And then typically you can also run the five man or the four man, but as you can see there, that just creates kind of a disengage over on that left side. Now, let me show you how to do it off the other side too. 
So if we're if we were doing this against um, like a traditional bunch or U trips formation, one of the things we would want to have we might want to flip this play so that we can get this uh, kind of sharper uh, blitz angle from that defensive lineman. That stuff kind of matters. So you kind of want to play around and, and again search around for the best way to run that that stacking of the contain uh, concept. Again, you can do both contains. So I'll show you that here. So again, we're just gonna. Um, stack these contains on the edge so we'll bring this guy in until he's on a contain bring this guy in until he's on a contain and then you know adjust our coverage or whatever we need to do and as you can see now there's that stacking contain coming in that time off of the left side so that's kind of the general idea and i want to show you one last formation that i think was really good to do this out of this year um this was a little bit more uh a little bit more of the general concept of what we're shooting for uh, with this and how you can do this out of any formation. But it was the nickel 3-3, and basically what you would do is you would spread your line, spread your linebackers, and then you would just walk these guys off the edge and then QB contain them just like so. And then basically you would stand like right in here, and you're trying to get those contains to, to come off the edge, okay? So that's basically the idea of contained stacking. This has been a really good blitzing concept in Madden for as long as I can remember. Um, and again, typically this is done out of like a three down lineman set. You can do it out of other format. You can do it out of four down lineman sets for sure, but typically it's done out of a three down lineman set. Here's the way to do it out of quarters. Um, and you see, you see how I'm applying the same basic concept to I think we're four, four or five formations now. So that's the idea with this is you want to cross apply the concept to the year of Madden that you're playing and you've got to fish around and try to figure out, okay, which concept is the best for this year of Madden. That's kind of the art of labbing, uh, but these are the five, uh, we're on there, this is number four, but we're at four out of five for the blitzing concepts of Madden and tomorrow we're going to be talking about concept number five.